What's up everyone, this is Check TV Media with another video tutorial. And in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can get Mac cursors for your Windows computer. And just to prove it, I do have a Windows computer. You can obviously see it's just that my taskbar is on the top. Um, anyway, to get the Mac cursors for your Windows computer, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and open up your um, browser. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to this link that will be in the description and you're going to click on the download file and you're going to save the file and you're just going to close out of that and uh, we can just minimize out of that and as you can see there's something wrong with my icons I don't know why it doesn't show a preview picture for some of them but just ignore that this is the WinRAR file um, I'm assuming you do have WinRAR already so um, if you don't that uh, and you kinda need to look up a tutorial for WinRAR. Anyway, after you download it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and click New Folder, and you're going to rename the folder to Mac Cursors, and you're going to go over to your WinRAR file, and you're going to right click and click Extract Files, and you're going to browse over to the recently made folder that you have, and you're gonna make sure you extract the WinRAR file to there. So now if we look in here, we have all these cursors. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but they are the Mac cursors. Um, now to apply them to your Windows computer, you're going to go ahead and go over to your Start menu, go to com Control Panel, and you're going to go to the Classic View, and you're going to click on Mouse. After you get to mouse, you're going to go to pointer, and you can go to none. And what you're going to do is you're going to just browse and apply all the ones that you want. So I'm just going to make sure I go to my desktop, my Mac cursors, and here I have all of my cursors right here. So let's see, I'm doing the normal select. I'm just going to find the normal select. I'm going to open that and that changes to my black. Now I'm going to go to the help. And I'm going to type in help select cursor. Open uh, working in background. No, I'll just manually select this one. Here we are. And I'm just going to do that. And you can just very simply do this for all the cursors. It doesn't take long at all. Uh, for busy, I'm gonna do that, and basically you get the point. So yeah, I'm not gonna spend the rest of the tutorial doing this. Uh, but anyway, that's all. Uh, until next time, uh, take care.